Disclaimer. I know the video quality sucks, don't at me. My recording software just wanted to live its best potato life. It's fixed in the next VOD. And while I've got your attention, thanks for watching my blind playthrough of Rage. So, I tried recording this earlier. But... While I was editing, I lost everything. So... Back up your files. For sure. And, uh, yeah. Luckily, I was only about... 45 minutes into the game. So I didn't lose much. But I need to turn this down because it's so loud right now. Now that's too quiet. Uh, and then the music stops. Okay, so I am playing with the controller because as far as I know, the game was created with consoles in mind first, so it only feels right. So here we go. I would love to see Blur Studios do a remake of that because I bet it would be beautiful. External disturbance detected. Cryogenic chambers compromised. Chamber Omega 5 online. Initiating emergency nanotrite activation. Three, two, one. Nanotrite sequencer online. Release cryogenic chamber seals. Internal arc temperature nominal. Rebooting internal data systems. Halo, is that you? Nostalgia. Also, that's a really weird save pause. Just saying. Current position unknown. Remote location beacon offline. 
Running full diagnostic tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. Safe egress is now confirmed. Outer door lock disengaged. Initiate pre-recorded media playback. This is President Davis. You, the Arc volunteers, are mankind's last hope. Our survival. Our very existence rests in your hands. No one will know what you will find when you awake. But remember, you and the contents of these arcs will form the final barrier to the extinction of mankind. Our prayers go with you. And Godspeed. And playback. They all look so fabulous. I wonder what happened to them. I love how legit the sky looks, even though the clouds aren't moving. It's just really nicely painted from a uh, digital art standpoint. Anywho. Oh, you can't go back in there. I did not know that. Okay. My question is, why would I trust him? It ain't safe here. Get in. When he just shot, like two people, like yeah, they were trying to kill me, but I don't know this guy. I know you got questions, but we gotta get moving. I like his bobblehead. Still wearing that arc suit. It's a dead giveaway. Pretty much their world out here. Probably looking for their buddies. Damn. Now we both got a problem. It upsets me that we don't help those we people that the bandits have. Go 
Come on, this way. I don't believe that it is him, but this guy sounds like John Goodman from like Roseanne and Cloverfield and all those good things. You know, I put a lot at risk to save you. Not just my life, but the lives of everyone here. I survived this long by staying out of trouble. Saving you may have changed all that. So here's what I need you to do. Head to where those bandits live and wipe them out, plain and simple. No one walks out alive, except you. You can use one of my ATVs in the garage and that pistol and the supplies on the table. Oh, and you won't just get my thanks. Come back alive and I'll dig up some armor that'll fit over that arc suit you're wearing. You got a deal? One more thing. Those bandits shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special about you Ark people. I like how he has a spade belt buckle. Collector cards used to play Rage Frenzy when combined with a starter deck. Huh. I've collected a few of those the last time I was playing, but I had no idea what they were for. As I never looked at it. Mm. I haven't seen any. Some time. This world is a dangerous place. Got things a whole lot worse than bandits running around out there. Always keep your guard up whenever you're in the wasteland. I understand if you feel lost. This whole world is so much different from the one you came from. It is dangerous. But just remember that there are always good people out there. Trust your heart. Welcome, stranger. Name's Halleck, and it's a pleasure meeting you. I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting. Best stuff in the wasteland. Oh, and uh, if you find something of value and you don't need it, bring it here. I pay nicely for quality goods. Care to uh, browse my selection? I might have something you need. Monocular, half a binocular, the good half. I love that. <gasps> For when you don't care about making a mess. Hope to see you again soon. You're the guy Dan pulled out of that arc, huh? I love his face. His character model just like makes me happy. <laughs> Never thought I'd see another arc survivor. Not since the authorities started collecting you people. And killing me. But hey, I've got stuff to do here, so maybe you stop by later. I'll dig up some work for you. Let me guess. You want to know how to throw a wing stick. Ain't easy, friend. I love her outfit, by the way. I would totally wear that. I see Dan gave you a pistol. Not a bad weapon, but if you want some subtle killing power, you'll need to use a wing stick. They've got a nano core for smart targeting, but it'll still take a little practice to master. I'll make a deal with you. You prove you can hit something with them, and I'll tell Halleck it's safe to sell you some. Ready to give it a toss? Good hunting. All right, here are the rules. Watch for the pop-up targets and hit them as quickly as you can. See how many you can get before the timer runs out. Follow the rules and you'll be great. Good job. You're almost out of time. If I 
were a target drone, I'd be nervous. Talk to Halleck and he can set you up. Her last name is Hagger. I wonder if she's related to the bro that brought me in. Don't know why Dan brought you back here. You people are only trouble. Now be on your way. That's racist, sir. I do like his bandana design, though. It's pretty cool. Um, I think that's everybody that I can talk to here at the moment. I want to know what those blue floaty things are. I was hoping that you could, like, run and then slide by crouching, but apparently that's not a thing. I've been playing too much Borderlands. As if there is a thing as too much Borderlands. That was called Hopper Light. Words, Stranger Things reference. Watch for intruders, friend. It looked like that was shining, like I could open it for a second. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate, like, this lighting effect? Like, looks normal. It's bright out here. You walk in here and the vision, like, turns slightly green like it would in real life. That's so legit. And I am so appreciative of the little things that developers do that most people don't even notice. Like, kudos to this art team. Like, Bethesda always hires the best and that's just one of the little ways that you get to appreciate their stuff. I don't know if there's anything back here or not. I don't think I came back over here the last time that I ran through this real quick. Okay. Just like I don't think there's anything over here. But I would rather check than not. Hmm. 
and then regret it because I didn't grab something that I could or should have. If I had just looked, you know. Loot him while he's still standing. Oh crap. Well, well. Look at what Hagar sent to us. How dare you think you can walk into our house? Take him to the kill room. This will hurt. Just tickled a little bit. Wait for the nodes to charge. Once the nodes have charged, they shoot towards each other, and then you gotta press A. They won't bounce back, so you got one chance. One opportunity. Mom's spaghetti. Watch me mess it. The, the first time I was playing this, this guy fell down there and I didn't know, so I was just like, and he evaporated. Thanks, Thanos. <laughs> but this time he, he landed up here, so that's that's good. So in case you're playing and you're like, dude, I couldn't loot the guy because he wasn't there and he, he fell down. Also, look at that mushroom cloud. Like, that's legit. And tentacle monsters. You're welcome, internet. Savings for losers. I feel like it should do more damage if you sneak up and hit them. Or like instant kill them if you like sneak up and hit them, but that's just me. guy left. I think that's the last guy. Cool. Well, the music is still loud and obnoxious. Oh my god, pick up the pistols. <laughs> 
the pistol rounds, bruh. Oh wait, that's the way I'm supposed to go, isn't it? Is that a flat screen TV? It is. How fancy. Not sure why I shot him in the leg. Oh, I gotta take my jacket off. Ow. I hit my desk. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, why? Why can't I properly pick up things? I don't remember if it's that way or this way. Oh, here's bandages, so I'll go this way. what that is. I'd rather not. But I mean, thanks for the suggestion, I guess. I mean, if I shoot him once in the head, he should die. But that's just me. I could be wrong.
All right, so that effect, where it's messing with my vision, is awesome. There he is. The little things. Die, friend. No, oh, you stay still. That's convenient, because I see you too. Boom! Cola Kong. Jump over the tiny little couch arm. Good, good to know. No, yeah, well, I was like, I know I killed four people out here. Am I forgetting anything? Nope. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. Man, could you imagine if, like, you misjudged it or weighed too much and then you hit the wall? <laughs> that would hurt so bad. I wish I could zoom in. But my car's gone. Did I check this? I don't remember. I mean, I, I checked it the other time I played it. Um, it's basically uh, looking for drivers to do deliveries. It's a little side quest thing later in the game, I suspect. But here we are. My face looks weird. Like, not weird in a bad way, just not what I would have pictured my person to look like. Perfect. Screenshot it. Thanks again for watching. One day I'll make an outro. Probably.